decided I'm no longer using Bubble as a dating service, but rather a handyman service. You see, I live in a house and I am just a girl and I don't know how to fix anything. But I have learned that men overall are fairly useful in person household chores. Whoa, whoa, what about the uh, boss babe? You, you, you're not a, you need to, um, the boss babe thing, right? You can do household stuff. Women will use dating apps for everything except dating. Have you ever noticed that? <laughs> what's going on everyone welcome back to another video here on the channel we're gonna go ahead and just jump right into it today so if you could like this video subscribe if you are not already subscribed and hey how's it going my name's rat boy let's get into it good morning i feel like i'm not done like a chatty get ready with me for ages let's do it i think just because i was away last week i was at haven all week so um i was <laughs> So I just thought I would I'm gonna turn her a up a little bit because I've had a couple um... people ask me if there's anything going on. So let's do it. If you're new here, my name is Sarah and I am a single mum in my late thirties. I have a three-year-old girl, and along with my mum life, I also share all my dating stories. Oh no God! No God! Please no! 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 In case you guys haven't noticed, if you haven't been seeing the pattern here, this is the norm. This is what women do now. Single moms, uh, regular single women, um, teenagers, 20 year olds, 30 year olds, 40 year olds, 50 year olds, 60 year olds, 70 year olds. They are all on TikTok in this in, in this capacity. They're talking, they're either doing makeup, someone might be eating. I saw an old woman eating the other day and was chit-chatting about whatever the hell she was talking about. And it's always like this type of thing here. Any variations exist, obviously. So you have the front seat ones, you got the mirror ones, like this one's doing like a, she's holding the mirror. I haven't seen this style in a while, but it's just like this old fashioned, like she's holding the mirror, she's doing the brush on the whatever she's doing. And so this is a common thing with, with women across social media now because this isn't just TikTok, this happens everywhere. So yeah, 2024, so great. Things very, very real and honest. So if that sounds like a bit of you, give me a follow. There isn't actually much of an update with um, the dating stuff. Um, I did meet some- I don't know too much about makeup. Does, it, does that match her skin or is that kind of a different color? You know, if you like kind of zoom in, <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Her ears are gonna. Well, I guess she'll, she'll put makeup on her ears, but that's just like a totally different color, I think. Uh, in my opinion, I, I don't like I said, I don't know too much about makeup, but she probably needs to go a little bit. Um, I don't know, let you know, a, a different shade, whatever this is. I don't think that matches. But when I was out, not the weekend, just gone the weekend before. Um, but I don't know if that's just gonna be like a night out thing. Um, He's really nice. He lives where I live. Um, and while that's good, it also means that we know a lot of the same people. He did want to see me. So we have spoken every single day since that weekend. You know, and all we can do is pray for. But still, it's... This is real shit. I'm also going to say something else. And yeah, her story's really not going anywhere. But I'm still just fascinated with how much she's putting on right now. Is that normal? Do you really put that much on? Like I said, I, I don't know that much about makeup. If 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 a woman knows, uh, just let me know. I've seen women, women put makeup on, but not that much. I, I, I wouldn't think that that much would be needed. But uh, anyway, let's continue with the video. And he asked about seeing me this, the weekend just gone. And I was actually available because my daughter was at dad's for an extra weekend. Um... So we kind of arranged to see each other on the Friday night. Um, I would, it, was, it wasn't going to be until about nine o'clock at night, but I was so tired because I- Okay, so we're a minute 18 into this uh, TikTok here and she is just now getting to the, what's happening. Uh, the guy, uh, she met this dude randomly. Uh, you know how these women meet men, either online or behind dumpsters or wherever they're meeting them. And she decided to go out with this man. So uh, that is, um, and also in case you can't understand the accent as well, uh, that's what's happening now. So they've decided on a, on a date. This is a single mom. So uh, like I said, I haven't seen this clip, but uh, let's uh, let's finish it. I've driven back from Haven that day, so I just messaged him and said, like, look, like, I'm far too tired. Can we do this another time? Um, but he then didn't even reply to me until like 20 past 10, and he was like, oh, I've literally just got out of sparring. Um, so I'm just She's not gonna leave her ears that color, is she? She's gonna put some on her ears too, isn't she? 
She put the brush away, so I'm really not sure what. Hopefully, she'll go back and fix that. Fine. He got his kids for the rest of the weekend. His dog. So he said to me, "Oh, what are you doing now?" This was like half ten, and I was like, "Nothing. I'm just sat in bed watching TV." I was like, "Oh, oh I'm go I'm leaving now. Like, I'm gonna go and get a milkshake or like hot chocolate or something. Like, why don't I grab you on the way past? Just come out for a little bit." So I actually hadn't taken my makeup off at this point, um, and all I need to do is like chuck some clothes on. So I was like, "Oh, do you know what? I might as well." So I was like, "Yeah, that's fine." And he was like, "Oh, I'll text you." In 10 15 minutes, like knowing I'm leaving. Never heard from him. <laughs> so I just messaged him and just had a go at him and just said, Well, I'm not interested. He messaged me the next day and apologised and was just like, Oh, it was really late. I didn't have a very good signal, my sister's blah blah blah. All these really stupid like excuses. So I was just like, Yeah, he didn't fall asleep. He wasn't at his sister's. He found someone that was more easily accessible, honestly. You know, these guys, they got women all up and down in the streets. And so he, he probably went and got a milkshake. <laughs> he definitely got a milkshake, I think, right now. But uh, you, you, you weren't involved in that at all. That was a different type of milkshake, unfortunately for you. You got uh, stood up and ghosted. And, and then he'll probably keep you lingering around until he's super desperate and is, you know, willing to get involved with a single mom which in my opinion you guys look just do not even risk it don't worry about it do like this guy did you know yeah you can talk to him on the phone lie to him whatever but do not spend any time at all it is a it is the worst way to spend your time honestly is with a single mom uh in, in all capacities you know normally i would say oh well for you know maybe if you want to um a nighttime visit or not don't even do that because that even that is a risk because these women even if they're 30 35 sometimes even late 30s 40s these women are still trying to get with they're still trying to have more kids like my kids that's all they think about and you do not want to get wrapped up in that mess that is just uh that needs to be a no honestly not interested um but then he kept asking when am i when am i free when am i free um, so here's what's seen me this week. Obviously, I've got my daughter. Um, so I'd have to ask my mum to babysit. But I'm just very, very hesitant because I'm just like, I don't want to ask my mum to babysit if he's then just going to let me down again at the last minute. Um, so yeah, that really annoyed me. Like, so flaky. So I don't know. That's it. Like, that is literally just the dating update, guys. There's not much else going on. Um, uh, not spoken to beautiful Italian man. That is completely done now. Um, I am on Bumble and Tinder, but um, I'm actually not going on it. That's it, really. There isn't much more to update you on. Have a lovely... Why are you the way that you are? Honestly, every time I try to do something fun or exciting, you make it not that way. I hate so much about the things that you choose to be. Well, was she not supposed to put that stuff on her ears because her ears looked a different color? But, you know, maybe that's her thing. Maybe that's how she gets down. I don't know. I'm not going to sit here and make accusations on somebody. But what I will say is that guys like this will 100% keep women strong along, especially these single moms. It is a sad state of situations when you have these women, they are on multiple dating apps. They are doing all this stuff for all these random men. And these men really, they don't care. They have 20 other women, probably a lot more single moms waiting in the wings just to, for them to call and, and order milkshakes and then get them delivered and stuff or, or whatever he was doing. I don't know. I don't know what the guy was doing. Only only person who knows is a guy. So he's 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 up to his neck in milkshakes right now. Even milkshakes that are just laying around the house and ain't got nothing to do. He he's gonna call them and line them up just in case, just in case another one falls through. But as you can see, he he is in no no short supply of milkshakes. He will have his milkshakes and he will have them every night of the week, different milkshakes, different flavors. And uh who knows, maybe even uh that lady might be uh one of those flavors and uh, um, you know. Going for the next one. I decided I'm no longer using Bubble as a dating service, but rather a handyman service. You see, I live in a house and I am just a girl and I don't know how to fix anything. But I have learned that men overall are fairly useful for some household chores. What? What the? Whoa, whoa, whoa! What about the uh, boss babe? You, you, you're not a. You need to um do the boss babe thing, right? 
You can do household stuff. Women will use dating apps for everything except dating. Have you ever noticed that? <laughs> They'll use them for, for food, use them for repairs. You know, this woman's using it as like an Angie's list. Like, well, what are you doing? Really? This your, your, your handyman service is Bumble now? So what are the dates? He comes over and he fix your leaky pipes? I mean, well, what is he doing? What are you doing? Why are you doing this? And he, this is what is also insane is look at this picture. This picture right here. This picture on a dating app will get unlimited. Like she's getting match, matches every day. Like it's unlimited over here. Okay, so I would say within a couple months, she, she'd have her house already. Um, I mean, she can get a whole house remodel just off a of Bumble. Okay, paid in full, if you know what I mean. Ever since I moved into my house nine months ago, my fan has been going click, 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 click. And I've just been sweating because I had no idea how to fix it. I tried taking the bulb thing off and figuring out. I just, I couldn't. And I, I gave up and I, I just accepted defeat and I couldn't sleep with the fan on. But then I met a boy. I met a boy on Bumble. I met Bumble Boy. He and I hit it off. We had a three hour conversation on the phone, decided we were gonna go on a date. And I said, okay, whatever it is, it's probably only gonna last two hours because I have chores to do. And then he said, you know, I can help you with your chores. And I said, what? Stop it. Get some help. Don't, don't be like this guy. Are, are we going around offering to help women with chores? What is going on here? Do not do husband duties on a on a this dude isn't even her boyfriend this is just a random dude she's meeting on bumble can you imagine imagine a guy getting on a dating app and saying you know what i wish i could go on this date but i gotta go home and i gotta cook and then she's like whoa 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 hey hang on a second look <laughs> you don't have to cook because i'm gonna cook for you can you imagine how wild that would be it's never going to happen. This is what I'm talking about. This is insanity. We, we th These simps have to stop doing this. This is too much. Well, I do have a ceiling fan that needs some fixing. And he said, okay, great. Tell me the time. I'll be there. And so he came over and brought all his tools and some duct tape. And I said, why would you bring duct tape? It's what? And he goes, I don't know. Sometimes you just need some duct tape. And all it was was some wiring that was got loose and was in the little thingy that was going click, 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 click. Like the, when the fan was rotating, it was just clicking the wire the whole time. And then he looks at me and he goes, hmm, glad I brought my duct tape. So then he duct taped the wire and put it back in and then my ceiling fan was fixed. And you might be like, Holly, why would you invite a man from the internet to your home? That's a great question. I've been wondering that myself. I'll tell you why. And she doesn't really have an answer to this. And, and w whatever answer she's about to give is going to be the what I call the social media answer. This is going to be the answer she will push out to her followers. And, and all these people will feel amazed or have a feeling about it or whatever the situation might be. I don't know. It really doesn't concern me. But what I will say is that this answer is why is she inviting these random men over to her house? Because it's what she's been doing this whole time. That's why just so happens is that now she's saying, Hey, since you're on your way over to my house to, you know, have some nighttime visits, why don't you bring your tool bag and play handy Manny over here, fix my lights and shit it, that that's why. Okay. They will try to extrapolate any sort of free, free offerings from any man they're involved with. It's just what they're going to do. Food repairs, money, there's this one, I saw a video where a woman was talking about that the guy had to pay for pre and post date expenses, which was insane. Like, don't do this. Just, just leave these women alone. Let them go. Uh, they can fight amongst themselves on dating as there's no need to involve yourself with women who are just going to use you. I mean, at this point, you're just being used. I mean, there is no romantic inklings anywhere in the vicinity of these women they are just doing things to do them but anyway let's continue without ever meeting him first and i would like to argue that is exactly what you do with a handyman you call a business and you invite them over and you say hey can you come to my house please and fix my stuff and you've never met them you found them on the internet and that's what i did but i just chose the more economical option because this was free for me overall i've had more success on dating apps with getting men to do things around my house or building things than i have actually finding a relationship so far i've had one man <laughs> change a porch light that i couldn't reach i had another man put my treadmill together and then this man 
completely took apart my ceiling fan to get the rattling to stop and put it back together. All this to say is if a man is about to waste your time, you may as well get a little bit of use out of him. Don't waste money on a maintenance man when you can just find a free man who's single and just wants to please. Can you bless me with something? Oh gosh. Money wise, please. Can you suck it? What? And this is the state of what women use dating apps. It, if you didn't believe me before about dating apps being a complete waste of time, about them being only about one thing, and some people say it's about, you know, the nighttime visits, it's about food, it's about, it doesn't matter what it's about, whatever that thing is, it's transactional. It is transactional. You, you're not going to find anything of substance on a dating app. You're sitting there looking for the love of your life. You're, you're looking for your special someone that one you want to spend your e eternity with and all the while they're just looking for someone to tighten their screws uh, they got a loose bulb they need wriggling around they need someone to buy them a lobster tail oh thank you for the uh th thank you for all the the time and money you spent on me uh, friend bye this is the state of of what we're dealing with here and pretty soon you won't even be able to call it a dating app there is no reason why these need to be called dating apps anymore because nobody's dating on them well why 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 are we still doing this this is completely insane completely insane and i'm not saying this woman is is alone in doing this you know this is this is just one video but there's a lot of there's a lot of issues that i have with some of these women put out there you know this one's doing it for handyman work sure there's that other woman that was doing it for rides there, there was one there was a woman that was dating she was using dating apps as like an airbnb every different night you would find a different dude to shack up with to sleep for the night and she says she hasn't paid rent in like 200 days this is the state of of what we're dealing with here and no matter what you know for a guy there is absolutely nothing that you can get off of a dating app unless you're looking to you know hook up or whatever maybe you can try your chances on that one whatever even that i wouldn't even do that because you'll just be flooded with these you know highway walkers will try to get you to buy them and stuff and it, it's just a it's a sad situation so it's wasting your time completely wasting your time and I've heard horror stories about situations dudes have been in. That, uh, <laughs> I, I don't think any man with common sense would want to wrap themselves into that type of situation. And women, they're just using these men. Handyman or a uh, nice little Airbnb. Using them for a ride. They're their own little Uber. <laughs> and their Uber Eats. <laughs> they're just... <laughs> these dating apps are just women's version of Fiverr.